God bless you. I want to share with you today about putting your own cell phone. I hear so many people, and it is uh, a desire of so many people to reach some next level in their ministry, next level in their field, next level in their uh, trade, next level in their endeavor. And they're waiting for the next man to put themselves on. Maybe that's why so many people are talking about networking because you start trying to assess who can help you to the next place. Instead of just blessing everyone and sooner or later, <laughs> they're going to get you to where you need to go. Uh, you you got to put your own self on. So, so this is what I had about, this is what the Lord dropped in my spirit. It was early this morning about putting yourself on. He led me to write, every now and then, one must give himself or herself the attention that, they, that we so richly desire from others. Many times, if we focus on ourselves just a tad bit more than we focus on the attention that we receive from other quarters, then we will be richly rewarded. So many are waiting on the moment where someone puts them on when they literally possess the ability to put their own selves on. Work on your own thing, put the time in, and work on the desires of your heart. Life has a way of blessing the committed. Will you pay attention to your own thing, or will you wait on the crowd to recognize you? Decide today to seek God first, and then after checking with God, then go all in on working on your own. Stop waiting for your ship to come in and just go on and swim out to it. Folks, you can wait a whole lifetime waiting for someone uh, uh, to put you on. You'll wait forever waiting for the right door to be open, right? waiting for the right connect. You're, you're just sitting back waiting because some as if the world is going to play, come right to your door and put you on. You have to make the decision within yourself that I'm going to put myself on. Maybe the time that you're trying to say, hey, notice me, notice me, give me your permission. Folks, you don't need any permission to start moving upward and onward. You need to make the decision. You need to check with God. But once God gives you the okay, you need to start being about what you're going to be about. If you put the time in that you're trying to spend making others notice you and getting better at your craft, grinding, working on your own thing, putting your own self out there, stop being so afraid and stop feeling like you need to have thus and so, who has despised the day of small things? Folks, you got to start where you are with what you got. You got no other choice. Stop waiting for the day when all conditions that'll be right because that day will will never come. If you wait for perfect conditions, you won't get anything done. Stop waiting for day perfect to come in your life and start putting your own self on. If you focus on yourself a tad bit more than you focus on the attention that you receive from other folks, then your life will be richly rewarded. So many are waiting on the moment where someone puts them on when you literally possess the ability to put your own self on. Folks, with technology, with the advent of technology, who's to stop you from putting a blog up? Who's to stop you from making a video? Who's stopping you from giving a concert on Facebook Live or Periscope? You don't need, the gatekeepers are gone. You don't need to spend money to get a gatekeeper to swing a door open for you. God has already swung the door open for you through this thing that we call technology. Every now and then you need to put yourself on. You need to give yourself a try. You need to introduce. You need to take your own self live. That's what I'm doing right now on Periscope. There's no telling if you guys will share this with your audience how far this can go. There's no telling if you guys would would, would send some hearts up and, and send this and, and tweet this and, and, and share this with your own friends. I'm putting my own self on. But it wasn't about me on TV. Today, this whole uh, scope today is about you putting yourself on. Stop waiting for permission. Start working on your thing. 
Folks, if you can work 40 hours a week for the next man, you can work some hours every afternoon on getting better at your craft. It may sound small, one hour a day, but when you start becoming seven days, then that's seven hours you got put in. And when you go on, it's 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 28 hours in a month, uh, uh, 28 hours in a week. And one hour a day, seven, 28 hours in a month. 28 times 12 is 280 and 56, 336 hours. Sooner or later, you start getting to be an expert at that which you have resolved to do. Work on your craft. Spend some time doing what you, 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 you desire to do. Put the time in. Put the work in. And, and you know, and, and on the desires of your heart. Folks, you're waiting for things to change as if some presto change or somebody with a magic wand comes and gets you. God blesses those most times that he finds working. The Bible says, commit thy works unto the Lord and he shall establish it. Folks, it's not stop waiting for someone to put you on. It's time for you to put your own self on. Life has a way of blessing the committed. You got to resolve that I'm going to hold on to this thing breaks through. I'm going to hold on through the fire, through the flood, through the tempest, through doubt, through bad times, through a, a, a tough economy that I'm going to hold on. And sooner or later, I'm going to win. Life has a way of blessing the committed. Will you pay attention to your own thing or will you wait on the crowd to recognize you? If you wait on the crowd to recognize you, it wouldn't be amazing that we can get to the end of our life when they're calling in and those last breath are leaving your body and you resolve and God shows you all the things that you could have had if you decided to put your own self on, but you are waiting for the crowd. The crowd isn't going down in that little box when they lower it down. Caskets don't have bunk beds. Folks, sooner or later, you're going to have to learn to put your own self on. Check with God first. Seek God first. The Bible says in Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So then after checking with God, you need to go all in, sink or swim 100%, on working on your own thing. Stop waiting for your ship to come in and just go on out and swim out to it. You need to put your own self on. Stop waiting for the next man. Stop waiting for your frat, your sister, your brother, your neighbor, the guy at church, uh, the guy that you used to work with, the gal that you knew at the library. Stop waiting. Your success isn't dependent on their actions. It's dependent on yours. Every now and then, you got to find a way to put yourself on. God bless you, Drew. Uh, God bless you. Put your own self on. Put your own self on. Stop waiting for a permission. You, you're not in school anymore. And the school of greatness didn't send a permission slip home to your parents for them to get their, significant, to, to get their signatures. Every now and then, you got to learn how to put your own self on. God bless you. Have an awesome day.